So let us recap what we said in the last uh, uh, discussion. We said that the business can be funded by equity or long term debts or the current liabilities. Interestingly, even if many companies have a low debt equity ratio, that means hugely funded by uh, equity, they may be having a large current liability sitting on the balance sheet. So what is this current liabilities and what is the use of this? The current liabilities are short term sources. It includes supplier's credit, it includes advance from the customer or even it includes expenses due but not paid, money due to its employees maybe. So therefore, in many cases current liabilities can become a significant source for financing the assets. So let us understand what is this current liabilities and how they are used for financing the assets. To do that, maybe it is useful to get a framework called working capital. Working capital is excess of the current assets or the current liabilities. So CA minus CL. But it it's, it's can be converted into a ratio to make it more meaningful and I call that as a current ratio is a current assets by current liabilities. If the current assets by current liability is equal to 1, that means all the current assets are financed by current liabilities. If the current assets or current ratio is greater than 1, that means a part of the current assets are financed by other long term sources. And if the current assets are less than the current liabilities, that means the current liabilities are financing your fixed assets too. So it it's, it's becomes an important number. Now what is this current ratio in, in, in India? Interestingly, the companies like HUL, Hindustan uh, Unilever and along with that most of the other FMCG, the current ratio is less than 1. What does that mean? That means their current assets are less than the current liabilities or to put it the other way around, the current liabilities are greater than the current assets. That means these companies are using short term sources to finance the acquisition of the other assets other than the current assets. But take the case of a company like Infosys. Infosys, the current ratio will be 4 times, that means 4 or 4.1. Most of the IT companies will be hoovering around 2 to 3 or 4. So that means a large percentage of the current assets are financed by non-current liabilities. So, so unlike an IT company, an FMCG company is actually using short term sources. But what are the short term sources? Particularly in an FMCG company, the short term sources become the supplier's credit. And most of these FMCG companies operate from or operate with a relationship with the small manufacturing companies like SSIs. So it's possible that these large FMCG companies are taking advantage of the huge credit period to finance the business. So invariably FMCG companies have a negative working capital and a current ratio less than 1 whereas a big IT companies uh, will have a huge current assets and also supported by current liabilities but the working capital will be positive. Some companies move from one extreme to another over a period of time like Tata Motors was consistently having a, ha, was having a positive working capital or greater than one current ratio but off late it started having more and more current liability. So excess current liability or less than one current ratio shows a conscious decision by some companies to strengthen the supplier maintain relationship with the supplier, get money from them and use that money for financing the business. But it's that one has to be careful. But if you, ex if you just use creditors without paying them on time, that might lead to a problem in the long run. In short run, you may survive by not servicing the supplier's credit, but in long run, it's possible that you might end into a problem. So therefore, one has to very clearly understand where is the money coming from. Is the money coming from the long term sources? 
if it is a long term equity, if it is a long term debt, if not debt, if it is coming from short term, where is this current liability? If it is a bank overdraft, very costly. If it is a credit card, though most companies don't use it, maybe cash credit, costly. But suppliers credit, yes, there is a possibility. So that means the financing decision gives a huge options for the business to explore the possibilities of debt financing, equity financing, creditors financing. In some of other future sessions, we'll see the impact of that on profitability. Thank you very much.